If you're a vegan that's skinny and you can't seem to put any muscle mass or any weight and you've tried everything, then you gotta stick around because in this video I'm gonna tell you exactly how to gain some muscle, gain some weight. Or if you're not vegan and you wanna learn some foods that are gonna help you increase your calories and gain some muscle and gain some weight, also stick around. My name is Julian. I'm the CEO of Jack Vegans, where we help vegans shred fat, build muscle, get fit without harming any animals. That's a key point. Let's talk about how muscle gain happens, okay? There are a couple things that need to be in place for muscle gain to occur. First, you need to be eating sufficient calories. If you're someone that's very skinny, you wanna be in a caloric surplus. That means that you're eating more calories than the ones you burn on a daily basis with your daily activities. That extra calories, your body's gonna use them to build new tissue. If you don't have that extra calories, then your body's gonna have nothing to build new tissue. So it's really important that you eat at a caloric surplus. So the biggest struggle skinny people have is that they don't have an appetite. They just don't want to eat. So the easiest way to work around this is to eat foods that are very small, very low in volume and very high in calories. And today I'm going to tell you my favorite four foods that are very low in volume and very high in calories. I use them all the time where I put myself on muscle gain phases and every time I get a client that's struggling to gain weight, I encourage them to eat these foods. Now, most of the foods that I'm going to present today are not considered healthy foods in the grand scheme of, thing, of things because they're processed, they have sugar, but guess what? To gain body weight, you gotta eat things that are low in volume and high in calories, and that usually means processed foods. That doesn't mean that your diet is gonna be made only of these foods. You also gotta have a well-balanced diet. You also gotta eat sufficient fiber, sufficient vegetables. I'm not gonna talk about that today. I'm just gonna tell you the foods that you can use to eat more calories throughout the day, okay? Let's go ahead and dive in. First food that I love for muscle gain faces, Protein bars, why do I love protein bars? This things, this bar has almost 300 calories and 20 grams of protein. So if you're someone who doesn't have a big appetite, you can have two of these bars per day, that's 600 calories and 40 grams of protein. A lot of calories, okay? Very, very simple to eat a lot of calories. The second food is Gatorade. And I know some people are gonna be like, but that's sugar, Julia, you shouldn't eat sugar. Listen, you're trying to gain weight. Eating sugar is fine because you're trying to put on muscle and weight. So Gatorade, I've had so many clients drink Gatorade because if you drink water, you can add 50 grams of Gatorade. That's 50 grams of carbohydrates. That's 200 extra calories that you can easily drink. If you do this twice a day, that's an extra 400 calories, okay? And it's not gonna make you feel full because it's just like drinking water with sugar. So Gatorade, very easy to add some extra calories to your day. Food number three, cereal. Again, I can hear the people, Julia, you cereal? Like, are you crazy? You're gonna, you're gonna die because you're eating cereal. No, you're not gonna die, you're gonna be fine, okay? And again, listen, we're trying to gain weight. Cereal, super cool because one bowl of cereal has so many calories. What you can do with cereal is you can have a serving of cereal after you work out, you can put uh, almond milk with protein powder, and that way you get the carbs and you get the protein. And one bowl of cereal can have up to 1,000 calories. I personally, right now, I'm, I'm in a muscle gain phase, and after my workout, I eat 250 grams of cereal plus 50 grams of protein. That gives me over 1,000 calories. That's very easy to do, and it doesn't make me feel full and I'm ready to eat three hours later. And the last food that I love is oatmeal. And this is Quaker apple and cinnamon oatmeal. Again, if you're doing a smoothie, you can add one packet of this. This has, I don't remember how many calories this has, but I know it has like around 30 to 35 grams of carbs. So you can just open it up, put it in the blender, blend it, and it's gonna easily add calories. And you can add two or three of these to a smoothie. So very simple to add extra calories. So these are just four examples of foods you can use on a daily basis to increase your caloric intake. Now, if you want my help and my team's help with setting up the whole thing, because you gotta have a proper training program. If you eat and you don't train properly, you're just gonna get fat. So you gotta have a proper, proper training program. You gotta make sure you're eating sufficient protein to make sure that everything aligns for you to hit the goal, which is muscle gain. So if you want my help, all you gotta do is go to the description, click on the link, book a free consultation call. No pressure, no obligation. You know, we can learn a little bit about each other. We'll see if we can help you out. And if we can, we'll let you know how to move forward. And if we can't, we'll try to recommend you someone or something else. If you liked the video, make sure you click the like button. That's it for now. Julian here, signing off.